Lack of time is actually lack of priorities. A simple but yet beautiful quote by our boy Tim Ferriss. Tim Ferriss had written the four hour work week and this Bible, this giant ass Bible, pretty much, Tools of Titans. A really good book, would recommend both. I'm actually currently reading the four hour work week and uh, I'm so far enjoying it. Tools of Titans was actually super good, but I want to talk about specifically this quote by Tim Ferriss, okay? So I love when quotes are very simple, but yet strong sounding, okay? Now this quote, to me at least, is very, very strong, but yet it's very simple, okay? Because what it really shows here is um, two things that we lack, okay? And it's us thinking that we lack time, and then us actually lacking priorities. Now, this, I've realized, is pretty much how most people live, okay? Because we have a lack of priorities, we feel like we have a lack of time. When we lack the feeling of time, we become to go like whenever essentially time is our best friend, but at the same time, you can make it your enemy. And when you make it your enemy, you become bitter, you become hateful towards time, you become like you start, you know, staying up till 4 a.m. and then you wake up at 12 and you're like, holy shit, I got work at 2. And um, then, you know, you don't get anything done because all you do, all you can think about is simply going to sleep because time is your enemy <laughs> and you have no priorities. So before I get any deeper into priorities and time and stuff like that, I want to start with pretty much what are priorities anyways, right? So my priorities would consist of, of actually the night before. Okay. Now this is something that I have recently started and I'm actually continuing and I'm enjoying it as I didn't do it last night, but I did do it the two nights prior and it did definitely follow into today, which is really nice. I didn't expect that, but it did. Um, and that is simply just journaling what you will do the next day. So for example, I had written down that I will wake up and that I will turn off my alarm. I will go pee, maybe go take a fat doo-doo. We all got a fucking shit, bro. After, you know, maybe, or before, whatever kind of guy you are, brush my teeth, right? And um, after that, maybe get some coffee. Um, so, like, make some coffee downstairs. And uh, from there, I might work on classes, maybe clean my room. I mean, these are all things that I would write down in the journal the night before I go to bed okay and I mean literally like the night before I go to bed now you can write these on like a pen and paper personally I just use Google Docs after you get down this little set of priorities the night before whenever you wake up you the the first thing that you think of is what you did the night before and that's typically I mean unless you got like some crazy thing that's going on the next day then maybe uh, your thoughts might be different, but assuming that you don't really got much going on, you're essentially going to wake up and it's instantly going to hit you. Oh yeah, I had written all these kind of things and I'm currently doing it. Now, I don't want you to sit there and refer back to the all the things that you had written to make sure you got every single one down because honestly, things won't work that way because... To be honest, we can try to map out our lives and what we will be doing, uh, you know, day by day. But things change so dramatically that following that kind of order in such a perfectionist style will literally drive you insane. So my suggestion is to just simply write down everything and kind of refer to it in your head. And just rather than being like, oh, I need to do this, just be like, just do it and then be happy after that you did it. Don't get everything done that you had planned the night before. Just replan this night and then hope that maybe the next you know, morning you'll do the uh, things that you had planned that night. And essentially, it's just going to be this pattern where you're going to be able to keep a nice priority list of things that you need to do, you know? Throughout the day, I might uh, be doing more classwork uh, for real estate than I would be making these YouTube videos and stuff. And I, you know, punch in work as, you know, my day job, you know? Me going to work from 2 to 10 or from 4 to 10 or from 10 to 8, whatever it be, you know? These are the kind of things that I punch in and around. And this kind of creates a nice bed for me to lay on of priorities 
while time is just simply just shaking my hand and saying, thank you for taking care of me because holy shit, I could beat the fuck out of you if I wanted to. Because that's seriously how time works, man. <laughs> So I want to leave you guys off with one more thing, and that is lack of time is actually lack of priorities, okay? Just wanted to put it out one more time, and that honestly you will save so much time just by simply writing down in a journal things that you will be doing the next day, okay? Just do that every single night, or at least try to do it most nights, and I'm telling you what, it will save you so much time and your priorities will line up. You will have, a, you will no longer have this struggle bus of, you know, the race against time and also just like lining up priorities, you know, like being able to determine to yourself that I will be maybe taking a fat shit before I go and clean my room. Or maybe I'm going to do laundry before I take a fat shit. I mean, these are kind of things that, like, naturally you would just do. But, like, I'm just saying that, like, whenever you create them as essentially priorities and routine because you know your body and also you know uh, what your expectations for yourself are, it's going to make things a lot easier and smoother for you to pretty much live uh, day to day. And I'm only speaking this out of experience and just know that nobody's perfect and that things will come up that you just don't expect. They're not in your plans. They're not what you wrote the night before. Things will happen and it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Just learn from it and things will get better, okay? Things will definitely get better. That's pretty much been it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, then definitely check out the video that I made prior to this one. Kind of inspired, I guess, this video in a way. But that'll be in this spot right here. I definitely need a cool outro. And I will see you guys later. Peace.